All right, briefly, we'll look at environmental toxins. The bottom line is they reach much higher levels in animals due to bioaccumulation effects. Uh, this figure shows that when you use vegans as the uh, baseline, clearly uh, people eating an animal food-based uh, diet have much higher levels of all of these environmental toxins, um, uh, coal painter uh, uh, PCBs, uh, polychlorinated biphenyls, polychlorinated dibenzofluorans, and polychlorinated dibenzodioxins. Um, toxins and persistent organic pollutants and heavy metals have been linked to increased risk for a number of cancers and other metabolic diseases. Some of these toxins are also known to persist, uh, that is, uh, hang out in human tissues for many years. Aspartame, which is a man-made artificial sweetener, has been linked to lymphomas, leukemias, and uh, multiple myeloma in humans, uh, which is a uh, cancer of the, uh, of the bone. And whole food, uh, whole plant foods can prevent absorption of certain heavy metals and toxins by binding them, causing them to be eliminated in the stools. And a, bio, a variety of plant phytochemicals can actually detoxify some of these environmental toxins and protect us uh, in uh, uh, several ways, uh, lower toxin exposure and detoxification of these um, persistent organic pollutants. Over on the left, you see a graph that shows uh, the control uh, uh, level of PCBs and DDT, but compound uh, found in uh, ginger, uh, zerum bone, and uh, compounds found in citrus fruits, team uh, have been shown to decrease the levels of, of these uh, compounds by detoxifying them. And these are our. Um, uh, references for that study. And then uh, a word about alcohol. Um, the, being clear, alcohol is a uh, cancer promoter. The link between alcohol and cancer has been known for over 100 years. It increases cancers of the oral cavity, pharynx, liver, bladder, larynx, colorectal uh, system, uh, 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 breast, pancreas, uh, prostate, and melanoma. 5.8% of all cancer deaths worldwide are linked to alcohol intake. Alcohol-related cancers in men are mostly found in the head and neck uh, uh, area, as you can see from the uh, graph on the left. left um, uh, Alcohol-related cancers in women are mainly breast cancer. Uh, Fiber-rich plant-based diet can lessen the effects of alcohol-related cancer entry and risk, and recommended intakes are less than six drinks a day for men and less than four drinks per day for women. And what about refined carbohydrates? Well, the good news is that even though carbohydrates are eventually broken down into glucose, whole, intact, unprocessed plant foods do not increase cancer risk or negatively affect our metabolism. However, refined sugars or processed carbs, by contrast, can affect cancer risk either indirectly or directly. Indirect effects of processed carbs are mediated by insulin levels, insulin resistance, which in and of those two factors can promote uh, cancer growth uh, and or development. And by causing us to store more fat, um, the more obese a person is, the higher their risk of developing cancer throughout their lifetime because it increases inflammation and stress hormones. And then processed carbs can, in, can directly affect cancer because some cancer cells have a mutation that causes them to preferentially up, uh, take up and utilize simple sugars for the metabolism. And so it is believed that consuming large amounts of processed or simple carbohydrates can augment the growth of those type of cancers. This is just showing you the amount of sugar in some common beverages. Uh, each cube represents a teaspoon of sugar. <laughs> 